Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. Um, this one is about the methods in context. It's a follow up from the one that I did a couple of months back. And this one I have got from AQA. Um, it was um, written by AQA. The answer is submitted from AQA and it has been marked by examiners from AQA as well. Okay, so literally I've got this straight from the exam board. Um, so all I'm going to do is just talk you through this question and what this student has put and what they've gone through and why it is a good answer basically. Okay, so on the paper one, you will get a methods in context question and um, it's one of my favourite types of questions because it really encourages students to show their skills of application to a school context and they won't know what the context is. So really students are showing how good that they are when they're answering this question. So you'll get an item and you'll get a question. Okay, so the item is always two paragraphs. It'll give you a little bit of an overview on the context. So in this case, it's the families on pupils education. Okay, um, and it's hinting at things like income, so material. Um, it's hinting at parents' own education and background and socialisation. So it's looking at cultural factors as well. And it is hinting at class and ethnic patterns also. So these are all things that you can comment about. And then the second part of the paragraph will always outline a little bit about the method. So in this case, it is structured interviews. And you've got to apply um, using a structured interview to researching these um, topics, um, if you like, of these different people in education. Okay. So from the item you can see it's asking you to evaluate the strengths and limitations of using structured interviews to investigate the influence of the family on pupils education okay so a good answer and this follows the line that i would recommend as a good answer as well is start off by overviewing what the method is so get in some just method only keywords just show that you understand what that method is so this student does this really well it starts off by outlining that they are close-ended it's reliable quantitative and they address some practical issues so they are quick to carry out little training and if the school agrees, so it's talking about getting access, and they'll be able to get a ready-made large sample of pupils. Okay, um, that could be true in a lot of contexts, um, but that's a nice thing about studying in schools. Um, they do have a little bit of evaluation and they are suggesting that, however, even though they are preferred by positivist, they are limited because the questions are fixed. They are ideal because they examine cause and effect, such as whether the parent attends parents' evenings and whether that has an impact on pupils' education. So they've applied a little bit of context in that first paragraph. Okay, and that is to do with the research. Um, bit bit general. Um, there's nothing really specific about um, unstructured, uh, sorry, structured interviews in that case, um, but there's a little bit of application there, and that's just a nice way to ease you into answering this question. Now, this second paragraph really goes into a little bit more context. So, a structured interview, and the nature of this structured interview is asking parents how much they help. OK, um, and this student is indicating that um, asking parents about how they bring up the children, there could be many problems. They don't want to be seen as bad parents. OK, um, these parents want to show that they are supportive. They want to show that they are good parents. And then there's a little bit here where it says a structured interview is formal. So the formality of it might influence the parents okay so there's a bit of application there and this means that they'll become fearful that they are not supporting the child in the right way and then that means that they'll give socially desirable answers okay so we've got context there again they also may see the teacher um, an interview as a teacher in disguise um, and this will further encourage choosing answers that do not reflect the true situation. Okay, so again, there's application 
of using a structured interview and they're applying it to that context if I just refer that back the influence of the family on pupils educations so basically through this method parents are not being honest okay about how much they help their children so then they start to stick with um, parents again okay and they go through another problem um, in the fact that it's inflexible so you've got your method only there it indicates that it's closed questions it only gives limited responses and it might miss aspects and then they go into context um, into the home life aspect um, that your home life could impact a child's achievement and it could be the way they live or the domestic abuse okay so they apply in the context once again um, then they go on to say that this is likely if the parents are working class and the sociologist is middle class. So you've got a little bit about the characteristics of the researcher and that they might not understand um, the background of um, a working class parent, especially if the parent or the, the researcher is middle class. So again, this context again is um, applied to the specific context of the question there and it is linking it back to a characteristic of the research method. Okay, the student is continuing discussing using parents to have these structured interviews with um, and then they've picked this up from the item because they have lower levels of education and they've added on that they speak in a restricted code and this means that in a structured interview they may not understand the questions or they may say something the sociologist does not understand and because it is a structured interview the sociologist cannot cannot ask for clarification so they just keep going on they really keep in that application to what the method is and to the context of the group that's being studied then they, 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 they pick up on the other point in the item, which was the fact that there might be a language barrier because it does mention in the item about um, ethnic differences. OK, so there's a language barrier and that is really a problem. If you are choosing structured interviews, you're not going to offer any clarification or any misunderstandings will not be cleared up. Now, the student does pretty well because now they've turned their attention from looking at parents and they're looking at pupils. OK, so this is imagining now if the structured interviews are asking the pupils. OK, so many deprived pupils, there's this sense of shame. So they are referring to the, the topic of asking um, about um, home life is pretty sensitive it's a bit of a sensitive topic so they're talking about a bit of an um, ethical problem here um, and that they might feel um, embarrassed or they might feel harm against them um, which which could be influenced by using a structured interview so they might not want to tell the truth they may lie and they're more likely to lie because they don't feel comfortable and this is a problem in a structured interview because there's no chance to gain a rapport. So we've got lots of key words there. And then they are talking about there being an increase of social desirable answers. This people might also see the researcher as a teacher in disguise. They might feel like they might get into trouble. And then they've linked it back to the ethical issue. So they're being really, really clear that they've addressed both ethical and earlier on the, in the influence of the practical issues. Um, another one, um, this is per pupils again a problem is that they're under 18 so another ethical problems this means they're unable to give their consent parents are unlikely to give their consent because they might feel shame um, and they may not want a child to be part of research or give personal details out and then lastly this student turns their attention as if they were interviewing the teachers this time and teachers are more likely to take part if they're less time consuming so you could talk about um, you know teachers being very busy you can talk about that they've got a full timetable and structured interviews tend to be less time consuming when you compare them to a structured uh, unstructured interview as the questions that they're related to home backgrounds teachers will not know it they might not know all the details okay and also teachers may also give answers to suggest that achievement is linked to factors at home rather than the school so basically they deflect the blame okay so teachers will often suggest that it's the, the pupils fault that they fail by 
something that they do. Likewise, if you're asking pupils, they might say the other way around, that they'll blame the teachers. Okay, so this is the mark that this um, exam question got. It showed a wide range of application. Many of the points have linked explicitly to the issue of the influence of the family on education um, achievement. The answer covers a range of characteristics, um, the research subjects. So they look at parents, pupils and teachers. So I think that's something that you definitely need to look out for because they're going to be looking for that. There is some consideration of the school as a research setting. So getting access into the school, um, you know, the timetabling or doing that. And there's a number of points that consider the sensitivity of research in this subject and the problematic nature of the presence of the interviewer when carrying out this research. And this answer was awarded 20 out of 20. OK, so hopefully this will give you a little bit of guidance of how to get an outstanding answer. So to summarise, start off by overviewing the method, making sure that you address practical, ethical, theoretical issues, strengths and weaknesses, offering um, ways to overcome any problems, um, making sure that you're linking it to the school context. Okay, so things like having a CRB check, students being a vulnerable group under 18, um, language barriers, um, post-school students are more likely to take part, um, anti-school students are less likely, um, sensitive topics, getting past the gatekeeper who is the head teacher, and also linking it into the specific context that is given in the question. I would suggest that you imagine that you are um, the researcher and you are physically going into that school. What barriers? Will it be easy? Will it be hard? What barriers might people put up? Okay. And the last thing is just making sure that you just assume that you can actually either interview or question or observe a range of different people for that topic or that context. So you can always ask pupils, parents and teachers. Okay. Um, thank you for listening. Hopefully this you will find this quite useful. Any questions, pop them down in the comments um, and um, thank you for listening.